Well, hey there, people. Well, it looks like I got some more mail today. Uh, the first one, check out this envelope. How kick ass is that? Right on, let's have a peek. a letter. Hey Marcel, I've been watching your videos for a while now and enjoy the escapades. I'm sending a sticker for the new Ford. Hope you find some good romping grounds not too far from home. Oh, and remember to take us along via video camera. Take care. Thanks, buddy. Check that out. Oh, pro. And the next letter envelope is from my good buddy Metal G. Metal G sent me some metal stickers. Black label. Awesome, dude. Metal G rocks! Anyway, I guess I got some stickers to uh, put on the back window today. Uh, I got some from Nils yesterday, and uh, let's throw those on. Let's go right now. So I better put my sticker up there before it's too late. She's getting full. Well, there we go, Nils. Thanks a lot, man. I guess that looks okay right there, right? Eh? Very cool. Metal G. Thanks, bro. Snow Crusher. Awesome. So, if anybody wants to send me stickers, you better hurry. As you can see, there it's getting pretty full. Snow Crusher. Kick ass. So, I've decided to uh, bottle my wine. Because uh, I want to make some apple cider, so... Anyway, I cleaned out these bottles today. I sterilized them and whatnot. But uh, before I get to that, I gotta make some supper. What's for supper, you may ask? <laughs> a couple pork chops and a couple potatoes. Anyway, I got this uh, cream of mushroom soup, wild mushroom. Two cans of it. All right, we'll spread that around a little bit. Just like that, we'll add the pork chops on top of the soup. Not the tampon though, or the maxi pad, whatever. Okay, now we're gonna throw this can on top. And we're gonna spread that around. Just like that. Okay, I got the oven at 350. I'm just gonna throw the whole pan in the oven. Leave it in there till, till it's ready. And the potatoes, well, I'm just gonna cook them in the microwave. Easy peasy. And I'll sprinkle a little yum yums. That doesn't sound too bad. Looks pretty good too. And it smells pretty good. I don't know what to say about this, but it looks pretty good. See, here's one of the ads on Kijiji. Not mine, obviously. So we finished having supper and I decided to do a little arts and crafts. Anyway, uh, when I picked up that fridge, uh, stove, and the other fridge the other day, uh, the guy gave me five picture frames like this. So I thought it would fit, fit uh, Shelly's picture in nicely. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the buck store and buy some of that cardboard arts and craft paper or whatever. And I'm going to put it in the frame and put Shelly's picture on top of the cardboard. So it'll look pretty cool. All right, it's bottling time. So, I might as well finish off the original bottle, so I can refill it. I wish I could send you guys all a sample to try this, it's pretty damn good, I have to say. Alright. I'm going to do this a little more careful this time. I got my spill tray. Alright, let's get into siphoning. Okay, let's do this. One shot. Non-stop. Still made a mess. 
unavoidable mess maker. So this should go pretty quick. my drip tray is going to be handy. Shit, I should have cleaned out my drip tray so I can drink the wine out of it. I won't spill that much. But I do need another glass of wine. Thank you very much. Well, there we go. Not too much of a mess. And I almost got it all. Oh, maybe we'll toss that shit, eh? Toss it in the garden, maybe? Or I'll let one of my friends that come over drink it. That'll be the special brew of the night. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. My, my dad used to make wine and, yeah, I got sick on a batch of this shit. The bottom shit. The sediment's the worst. Yuck. Alright, well I'll cap all those, rinse them off, uh, I'm not labeling every bottle, that's for sure. Okay, so I just grabbed a random bottle off the ground, my uh, floor wine. We're going to do a, an alcohol level check. So it says to pour your wine into this beaker thing. Down there, I guess. And I'm going to throw the checker in there. I don't have my glasses, I can't see, so I'll throw that in there. Gently, they said. I remember reading gently. So it floats. I should have read more about it. Anyway, I'll let that sit for a few seconds while I find my glasses, and we'll come and see what it says. Whatever, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't read the instructions that far, and I really can't see them, so. Even with my glasses, I'm blind. I don't know, let's just pull it out and see what it says, I guess. Well, you go by that, eh? Table wine. 12%. Okay, we'll put it in for a bit longer. Now let's see what it says. It's been maybe 10 minutes, I'm impatient. So, we're looking at nothing, because I can't see without my glasses, like I said. We're at 12, 14%, 14% alcohol. Right on. All the bottles are washed off, uh, ready for storage. Doesn't seem like that much, eh? It seemed more when it was in that big sucker. So I guess I'll clean this big guy out and uh, get it ready for apple cider. Um, I'm going to go buy the apple cider kit probably this week and get started on that. Either I'm going to have to drink a lot of wine or get a lot more bottles. Maybe we'll just get a lot more bottles and maybe drink a lot more wine. Well, 14%, that's pretty much perfect for a table wine. Like, and I'll tell you, you guys have two glasses of this, you'll feel it. Anyway, people, cheers. And it tastes good. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.